This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today Beachcomber from the Legacy line and I'm really happy with this figure. I think the engineering is interesting. I think the design uh, is fun. Well done. Uh, okay, Evo, Evo Fusion, that's just... Basically, it means that you can incorporate the gun into the vehicle mode. That's 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 all it is. It, it's not even a fusion of anything. It, it's whatever. Hasbro's trying to get kids interested, and I can respect that. But if you fusion compared to I don't know missile launchers, uh, that you know that needs to come back. That was the fun part of it. Uh, anyway, that's just my opinion. But uh, we're going to take a look at this guy. Before I do so, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my uh, sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Alright, so here we are with Beachcomber. Let's take a look at the instruction. Standard Asbro stuff. You know, they show you where to put the accessories and transformation and the Evil Fusion. Which basically, that's what I'm getting out of it is that Evil Fusion means that, you know, you don't have a gun sitting on top of you in alt mode. So this is a bumper and basically there's a gun underneath so it's more hidden in alt mode so I don't know I am not too keen on that gimmick I mean it, it works fine but it just makes for a sillier gun anyway toy hacks probably will have something in the, their armory eventually uh, the artwork is really good uh, you have beachcomber and you have the little parakeet well, let's see if I can learn your language. So there you go. Sitting here. Nice artwork. Product shot looks good. And then you have the QR code if you want to scan that for the stats. Standard stuff. I uh, already showed the accessory. The f oh, well. Okay. It's a soft rubbery plastic. I don't know if I can get it well on camera, but it's mushy. You know? Mm -hmm squeeze that here so it fits in his hand well it's hard to get in apparently or it's just that the camera adds 10 step anyway but you can put it on a blast effect port works better and pretty sweet parakeet and looking at beachcomber you know I had to rewatch the episode when I did the capture for this uh, this review and uh, he was one of my favorite season two characters. I like his peacefulness, his you know quest for happiness, I guess. And he just likes to look at the nature, and he really tried to save or not disclose the location of that lagoon. Anyway, but he looks really good. There's barely any hollowness in the back. In the leg, you have a little section here. That's the forearms are all filled up like there's no wasted space on this guy and that's a major bonus Hasbro's really this wave so far I'm, I'm impressed with it um I like the uh, highlights you know the silver the Autobot logo a little bit of machinery here kind of all gray maybe toy hacks will fix that you know, do something for the arms because that's just all blue. Uh, you have a little silver stuff here, and you have well, what's going to become his headlights uh, sticking out on uh, the knees. But besides that, like I mean, the alt mode is really well folded together, very well hidden. Maybe a little bit at the feet where you have you have part of the uh, the roll cage. 
because uh, the other part is here it didn't very well in the back but this kind of sticks out but with the seats it makes for a good heel all right articulation you have your whoa do you have a rotation oh mine it's super tight and it's kind of jammed because of the uh the side so i'm not gonna force it uh you have a bit of a look down and look up barely all right, you have your Ferris wheel. You have this, oh, because of the wheel. Hey, this is rubber. Wow. Wow, I haven't seen a rubber wheel in a long time. Kudos, Hasbro, that's really cool. All right, sorry, um, the rotation underneath here, uh, the shoulder doesn't go higher than that because of the, uh, the way it's uh, built. You have your 90 degree bend. You have, even if it's not really necessary, but you do have a rotation at the hand. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, you have your merry-go-round. You have a rotation underneath the thigh. You do have, or do you? Do you or don't you? Uh, yeah, there you go. It's it jams because of the uh, the wheels, but you do have your complete Johnny Cage. There you go, and uh, you have your knee band, which actually goes more than that because of transformation. And then you have you don't have a back and forth. You do have a you can adjust both part of the heel because of the transformation but it's i guess if you want to pose him you could use that and then you have the ankle tilt looks really good and i'm gonna try to bring back the french word of the day because i know i've been forgetting a lot lately but we're gonna go with the uh, plage which means beach because i think that's appropriate for this figure all right, uh, let's do some size comparison. Let's, well, let's equip him. Don't want to forget the parakeet. And the gun. I'm gonna be left-handed right now. There you go. All right, so here's Beachcumber with Legacy Crankcase. And you know, I just wanted to bring the Evo Fusion thing. See, his bumper is his gun too. So basically, you're just hiding the gun better in alt mode. That's what I get out of it. More for Cybertron Kingdom Voyager Class Dinobot and Studio Series 86 Leader Class Grimlock. And now let me put him in alt mode. Okay, back from transformation. He looks really good. He's kind of hard to transform, like to get the, the seats in properly without this splitting open, but looks pretty good. And then you have the bumper, which sticks out like a sore thumb. Honestly, it's a little too far. So the Evo Fusion gimmick, I could have done without. I mean, I understand that it, for the leg transformation, this is better to have, to don't have that part, you know, because, um, but I don't know if, like from the front, you still you see the gun sticking out, kind of looks goofy. And you can put it on the other side because there's pegs here to help with the stability. So, but I don't know, I think I would have done something a little different. I don't have the uh, the previous version from the Prime Wars trilogy, and a lot of people are saying that that's a, a good mold too. But I mean, I like this alt mode. Looks really good. You have the you have seats, so I guess that's a must for this alt mode. But I really like the idea of seats and transformers. Uh, and uh, but the, the whole thing cleans up really nice, and you have a spot for the parakeet. And uh, yeah. I mean, we got a parakeet, you know, with him, you know, I wish we could have had Sluxoid for Defcon, you know, maybe a little bigger, but anyway, he looks really good, and rubber wheels, man, rolls super fine, even on this really soft surface, so, there you go, looks, he looks good, the headlights and everything, I like the uh, silver highlight on the, on the top of the, the hood uh, you have uh, steel plate uh, details here so when you you know step in uh, I have to say human might have a little problem fitting in there and finding uh, 
you know the gas pedal or stuff like that but you do have designs it's kind of hard to spot from here but you do have designs inside for a steering wheel and um other uh, like it's not a glove compartment but uh, there's something in there you know so nice details so yeah all right let's uh, put this guy back in uh robot mode and back from transformation i like this figure i just want to show you the details maybe now it'll catch better you have the steering wheel here and then you have i guess a little glove compartment and a steel plate so nice details you know they didn't have to do that but they did it so that's cool so i really like this version of beachcomber honestly a very solid mold transformation uh is interesting i have to say uh, i like the uh, the gimmick of the leg i like the gimmick where you pull up the chest uh, give you more room transform him make it a longer out mode it's very interesting hides the head perfectly and then you barely see uh, any robot parts like i mean a bit of the arms but the steel plates do cover uh, everything nicely so no honestly one of the good figures from this wave actually so far defcon has been amazing dirt was already a proven mold uh, and uh, people generally like it i have a couple of friends who don't but you know it's not their fault so yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment lower the those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care